It was a Monday when I made the discovery of a video that would lead to the creation of the Global Issues Network Club in my school. Determined to give IBSH students the opportunity to participate in a global event, I went to see my AP US History teacher, Miss B, telling her that I wanted IBSH to participate in the Cover the Night movement. She thought it was a brilliant idea and together we began to plan the event. We decided that we wanted to bring IBSH out of its little bubble and expose it to the world. There are so many issues going around in the world, such as the crimes of Joseph Kony, that IBSH students aren't aware of. Furthermore, the way Jin works is different from any other club. We set it up purposely that way. First of all, everyone is a leader in Jin. Every member has a role, and every member knows his or her responsibility in the club. Secondly, the foundation of Jin is collaboration. Everyone does an equal amount of work. And thirdly, we understand the importance of a small, tight-knit community and its effectiveness and efficiency in making decisions. And lastly, potential Jin members are interviewed and evaluated based on their ingenuity, recognition of their responsibility as a global citizen, and most importantly, their desire to become better leaders of both their local and global community. Eventually, we decided to use this Cover the Night project as a kickoff and an introduction to a new club in our school, Jin. After realizing that I would need more help to administer such a big event, I decided to ask a couple of people I've worked with in my other clubs to help me out with this project. Despite the short notice and close proximity to the date of the international event, they all agreed to help out. After doing some research on the issue, everyone was on the same page and we were ready to begin planning the event. We decided to use the same technique that Invisible Children had used when they made their Kony 2012 video to promote our event. After filming with CinemaScope for two weeks, our video was finished and we showed it to the high school department. Now, the only thing that was left to do was to buy our supplies and get ready to set up our event. On the night of the event, more people came than expected, around 100. We split everyone into groups and started doing our activities. After a long night of putting up posters and flyers, our school was successfully saturated with the face of Joseph Kony. And that brings us to now. We have chosen to focus on international labor and migration as our issue for the year. So far, we've done extensive research and discussed tediously over this issue. As a popular stop for foreign migrant workers, Taiwan, we believe, needs to step up its game in regards to the way migrant workers are treated here. We hope that with this in mind, we will be able to, or at least begin to, change people's attitudes towards migrant workers and somehow get across that they too are human and should not be treated as anything less than that. Though we are a new club, we believe that we will go far, for we are determined to take action and inspire others to join us in our endeavors.